Bring up Will Wagner, head coach of the Angelo State Rams. Rams are picked to finish sixth this year. Coach Wagner made his debut last year and led the program to five wins in his first year with ASU. Coach Wagner? Thanks, Dan. Um, you know, this time last year it was an uh, exciting time for me, uh, you know, being my first head coaching job. And, and this year, it's just as exciting, but a little bit different. Uh, we got some great changes uh, at our place that we're excited about, some new additions. Uh, one is uh, Sean Johnson, our new athletic director, uh, just been on the job for a week now, and uh, really excited about what he's bringing to Angelo State University and uh, the, the ideas and, and the direction he's going to take us. And uh, this past season, made a couple changes on the coaching staff, had a couple coaches with uh, opportunities, one to be a head coach and one to go back to uh, um, a Division One school where he came from. Uh, very excited for those two coaches, but uh, in, the, in their place, I was able to hire Jay Eilers, our new offensive line coach. Uh, great thing about Jay is he played for us at Northwest Missouri while I was up there and uh, went through the whole process of being 0-11 to 15-0 in his time there. And so his experience uh, and his excitement that he's going to bring to our, to our program uh, is really exciting. And then we've also been able to add Pierce Holt uh, to our staff and uh, look for the knowledge that he brings uh, on the defensive side of the ball. And uh, don't be surprised, he might suit up for a couple go games as well. So, because I know he can still play and he still looks apart. So we might have him out there just for warm ups uh, too. So, but I'm also excited about the two individuals that I brought with us uh, today. Austin Benson, defensive end for us, will be a senior. Uh, the great thing about Austin is uh, he's, he's developed into a great leader for us. And uh, when I got there, he was playing middle linebacker. He was a great middle linebacker. Um, and he didn't um, particularly agree with it, but we moved him to defensive end. And he's really bought into it now. And he's probably one of our best leaders on defense and excited about uh, his senior season. Also, we have Blake Hamlin, who will be a junior quarterback for us. Uh, Blake had an outstanding year. Uh, starting off, uh, unfortunately, I was injured when we played uh, WT and uh, set out the rest of the season. But uh, had a great year for us. Was a great leader. Just these two guys and the leadership that they bring uh, to our team uh, makes it ex exciting. Uh, we lost 24 seniors last season. Uh, great players for us, um, and they're going to be missed. But I'm really excited about. Uh, the younger guys and uh, Austin's class and Blake, you know, the leadership that they're bringing, uh, them buying into what we're doing uh, makes it exciting. And you can see that in spring ball. We had a great spring uh, practice. Uh, you always gauge a spring practice on how many people were injured uh, usually, and uh, we were very fortunate in that area. So it was a great spring for us. Had numerous of guys staying around for the summer. Uh, really getting ready for the season and uh, we're excited about it. We're excited to be part of the Lone Star Festival this season. Uh, we, we didn't get to partake last season but I, and I don't know who scheduled Valdosta State for us as well but we could have figured out a little bit easier opponent but we're excited. Our guys are excited. We got a lot of kids from that area and uh, we're looking forward to a, a great season. Thank you.